Abacha was born and brought up in Kano. He attended the Nigerian Military Training College in Kaduna and was commissioned in 1963 after he had attended the Mons Officer Cadet School in England. Abacha was involved in all the military queue in Nigeria during his military career and participated actively in the Nigerian Civil War. During the crisis of the Third Republic, Abacha was the defense minister and the most senior officer within the military hierarchy. He staged the coup d'etat of 1993, which overthrew the interim national government of Ene Soneka. On June 8, 1998, Abacha died in Asurok Presidential Villa in Abuja. He was buried the same day, as indicated by Muslim custom, without an autopsy, which fueled hypothesis that he may have been assassinated and the famous story that has been getting out and about is that he was poisoned with an apple from a lovely woman utilized by his foes to murder him. It is accepted outside representatives, including United States intelligence experts, that he may have been poisoned. His main security officer, Hamza El Mustafa, accepted that Abacha was murdered and that everything started after a handshake with an Israeli agent who were in the company of Yasser Arafat the day he visited the head of state on June 7, 1998. On June 7, 1998, the president of Palestinian Liberation Organization, Yasser Arafat, made a brief stopover at the Nnamdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, en route Morocco, and was expected to hold a brief discussion with General Sani Abacha at the airport presidential wing. That Sunday morning, the Palestinian leader arrived Accompanied by a very modest delegation, the presidential wing of the airport was crowded by the press corps. It was a topical assignment in the view of Nigeria's neutral position in the Middle East conflict. After the meeting, which was very brief, at the VIP launch of the presidential wing of the airport, there was no press conference. President Arafat immediately departed for Morocco. In the evening of June 8, 1998, around 6 p.m., Abacha's personal doctor came around and administered an injection to stabilize him and was advised to have a short rest. At about 5 a.m., Abacha was found very unstable and was pronounced dead by his personal physician eight minutes later. Amza Al Mustafa immediately called key members of the provincial ruling council, including strategic military commanders, for an emergency meeting to inform them about the sudden death of the head of state. Al Mustafa took some strategic decisions that were of national significance. One of such decisions was the immediate evacuation of the condemned Q plotters in just prison to a more secured place to preempt any intention to summarily execute the plotters by possible overzealous forces. At about 5.25 p.m., an official statement was issued by the Minister of Information informing the nation about the death of the Commander-in-Chief. As soon as the news spread in other parts of the country around evening, there was misreaction, though majority of Nigerians were joyous. Jubilant Nigerians, especially in Lagos, broke into cheers. Many saw an opportunity for a return to democracy. Taxi drivers lined up at major junctions, shouting cheers as the convoy drove past. Men and women ran after the convoy in utter disbelief of the turn of event. Some other people formed queues in groups with green leaves in their hands, singing solidarity song in a loud tone that suggested liberation from bondage. 1986 Nobel Prize winner, Wolo Soyinka, who was in exile at that time, said, If Abacha's death was natural, then it was a very graceful exit. He also said that the death was an opportunity for Nigerian civil society, the Nigerian military, and the international community for a return to civil rule. General Abdusalami Abubakar became the head of state. His short residence guided the Fourth Nigerian Republic into reality. Now, the question is, do you think that General Sani Abacha was murdered by international forces or that he died a natural death? Please leave your comment in the comment section below. Thank you.